Previously, in the solo leveling, Jean Wu got a mysterious job changing quest, which he accepted to level up, but when he entered the dungeon, the challenge activated and showed the notice that he can't leave the dungeon until he completed it, plus he can't even use any sort of healing on himself, the difficulty was at peak of S rank, and even so it Jean Wu goes along with it and reached the boss room, where he comes across the knight commander boss, the Igris, so he played smart and discovered his weakness, and after that, with a stroke of luck, he gets Igris into a corner and stabbed Igris on his neck crazily to beat it, but even after beating Igris, the quest showed the hidden mission, that is to survive the waves as long as he could, but non-stop fighting the waves of soldiers was putting a toll on him, he knew he had to complete the mission anyhow to survive, but the wave of soldiers were coming endlessly, and Jean Wu was reaching his own limit, but he wanted to survive anyhow and goes on a killing spree, but even after struggling, like crazy there was no end to it, so he started hearing the mocking he once endured in the past, being the weakest hunter of the history, useless, who can't even go to E-rank dungeon raid uninjured, and those people were trying to brainwash Jean Wu to give up, even Ju he appeared there and behind him, he saw himself, his other side was telling him to give up, he praised Jean Wu for having a nice built up body, but there was no difference from the inside, an E-rank will be an E-rank, the weakest, it was distracting him, a nasty way to make him give up, and even though Jean Wu kept fighting, the distraction worked this time and the other self told him to die, just like before. But his luck strikes in the end, he didn't complete his daily quest of training so the penalty kicked in, that appears to be a penalty, but it was actually a life saver, he goes to the penalty ground to survive for 4 hours, and getting outside of the dungeon, those restrictions were lifted, it was a luck of charm he got, but he knew the system actually wants him to survive. So he opened the store and bought some healing potions to reset his fatigue, but no amount of potions could regain him HP. If he's down to the critical point, and waiting to heal naturally was out of the question. And the only way to heal up was to level up, and luckily some cannon fodder showed up for him, and Jean Wu took the penalty as a way to level up, he kills all the sandworms and maxed his HP from leveling up, now 10 minutes were left of the penalty ends, and once over, he will go back to the dungeon, so he opened the store and bought a night killer dagger, that deals extra damage to armor type monsters. And defeating Igris, it got him a skill granting stone and crushing it, Jean Wu gets the skill of ruler's hand, sort of like telekinesis to manipulate objects without touching, he remembers Igris did it once in their battle, so he gives it a try by the worms, but it was much heavier to lift, but the preparation were complete, and Jean Wu returned to the dungeon, the numbers of knights had grown much more. But even so the night killer was getting handy, but he noticed his level wasn't rising. Which was odd, and saw mages were up to something. And behind it the gate opens up leading another batch of knights seeing that it got clear mages were summoning the knights, so Jean Wu kills it and the knight he summoned got reduced, so getting mages was the way to complete the quest, so Jean Wu used stealth and speed to pass through all the knights and cuts through the whole horde to get the mage, he dragged the mages to cut it through so the other three mages combined their power to summon the golem knight, that was a heavy fighter on the field, but still Jean Wu gets through all the obstacles to get the mage, but the knights were still active, and with a burst of power, Jean Wu destroyed it from within, that marks the end of the quest and the rewards appear, the system starts to show some really weird sentences, but the one noticeable was telling that the player gets to summon ghost that will follow their owner and thus it will be called shadow army, now it's time and the system shows Jean Wu his job changing is a success. He gets to be a necromancer, a mage type who calls out undead as his soldiers, but Jean Wu was an assassin type, so all his hard work could go to waste if he accepted it. So Jean Wu rejected the change, but the notice told him to reconsider, it's obvious that the system wants him to choose yes. So he thought about it for a little and realized it's a type of summoning magic that those mages kept using, then Jean Wu comes to the conclusion that his stats can't disappear, which means he could still level up and fight on front lines, and Shadow Army could come in handy, so he accepted it, and the burst of magic starts to surge throughout the room to get inside Jean Wu, that magic awakens the Shadow Monarch. And now he could bring out the undead soldiers, he saw the Shadow Extraction sign on their heads, but he needed to set a command to activate the chant, so Jean Wu sets Arise. As the word, and just as he told Arise, 
the shadow of those knight and mages came out of them to serve their king, so he thought to try it out on the strongest knight, Igris, but once he attempted, Igris rejected his call, their system showed he could only try out three times, and Igris rejected Jean Wu's call again, so Jean Wu told Igris to leave this empty throne room and live as a knight to cut down his foes as a warrior, and dedicate himself who stands before him, those words touched his heart, and Igris responded to his call. So now the Shadow Monarch got the first regiment of his Shadow Army, but at the same time the third raid was commenced on the Jeju Island, it was one of the most terrifying raids that took many lives in the past, so those who survived still wishes to wipe out those monsters residing in that island, and for that, Choi jong was heading towards the nearest place to Jeju Island with the best of his guild's ranks, and Radar picked up something, and landing at the nearest island to Jeju Island. They found something very shocking. They saw the monster ants are now evolving themselves to fly off the island they were residing on. But that's the end of episode 12 of the solo leveling anime, but stay tuned to watch more of the upcoming episode of this anime, and like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel to watch many other recaps, until then take care.